Hey everybody, Dr. Ryan Ball from Prosper Health Clinics finishing up our testosterone talk. Uh, the last thing that can cause low testosterone is mitochondrial mitochondrial dysfunction. I'm just going to DYS, dysfunction. And so mitochondria are in the cell. They're your powerhouses of the cell. They produce energy for the cell and everybody knows about that or, or, or a lot of people do. Um, what people don't realize is that LDL, the, the bad cholesterol, even though it, we need it, um, LDL will shuttle cholesterol into the cell. And then once it's through the membrane, the star protein will actually take the uh, cholesterol and bring it into the mitochondria. And that's where it's made into pregnenolone, which is the precursor to all the sex hormones. Pregnenolone then goes down the pathway and ends up becoming the different sex hormones, testosterone, progesterone, estrogen, things like that. Um, just long story short, mitochondria, that is where your sex hormone metabolism and, and, and your sex, or not metabolism, but sex hormone generation and creation happens. And so we want to be able to check mitochondrial function. We want to make sure that those are functioning just right. You know, everybody is talking about mitochondrial function for kids with autism, uh, mitochondrial function for uh, neurodegenerative diseases, but they really play a huge role in, in, in sex hormones because that is literally where you're creating your sex hormones at. So if you don't have a good box to create those in, you need to rebuild that box and make it better. So that concludes the testosterone series. Um, looks like there's about eight different ways that you can get low testosterone that don't have anything to do with you having a hormone replacement deficiency. And so I really, really strongly urge you to look into these causes before you go down the let's replace you for the rest of your life with synthetic hormone. Um, if you do get to that level or if you're 75 and older and you probably need it if you want it, um, it's natural for your hormones to go down over time, but I understand a 75 or 80 year old person wanting more testosterone, it feels good to have more testosterone. Um, that being said, you know, if you are going down that route, you know, and you're doing replacement and you just don't want to look into these things, be sure you're using bioidentical hormone replacement and not synthetic hormone replacement. Um, way safer, way better. Um, but that being said, before you even do that, you should look into these different causes. So remember, any questions, please put them in the comment section. You can go ahead and like and subscribe and share. Uh, I'm Dr. Ryan Ball from Prosper Health Clinics, and hopefully you know a lot more about testosterone. And have a great one. Bye.